Hey guys, Mr. PF here again. It's been a while since I made a video, but I've been busy doing a lot of other things. So now that's getting back to winter time, I'm going to try to start making some more videos. This video particularly is going to be about a PS3 controller, the CECH ZC1U controller. Now this is the very first controller that came out with the PS3 release. The differences between this and the other six axis controllers is if you look they're actually smoke see-through black which is an easy way to tell them from the later six axis controllers because the later six axis ones are solid not unlike this but just black instead of blue and particularly what's different about this model controller is the PCB board and what's interesting is that Sony actually incorporated a spot for LED number 5. Now if you guys have followed the PS3 like I have or you remember it when it first came out they had advertised the PS3 to come with a LED inside the PS button and another tall tale sign that they actually had in intended to do this was the rubber pad itself actually has a clear light diffuser for the LED itself where it shine through to the PS button. Now this was a mod that a lot of people did later on in the PlayStation's life cycle but it's just very interesting that Sony decided to at the last minute not include the LED in the controller. You can find some images of people that have prototype PS3 controllers and very early models where this LED is actually in place and it works. Now I remember doing this back in the day actually soldering LEDs into that connection point and there's no continuity there. There's actually no positive. There's a ground there but there's no positive. And uh, if I remember correctly I believe you can take that red wire that's on the bottom. Now don't quote me on this because I really don't remember and it's been a long time since I've actually done this mod. But I believe you can run a resistor from that bottom pin of the the red wire there to the LED to be able to give it power and then everything else pretty much fits back in place and you have a what looks to be a prototype uh, PS3 controller well a lot of people later on down the road started modding these and these were completely solid black and what they would do is like use a hole puncher or something similar to make a hole in there and put a three millimeter LED inside the actual plastic board that holds the the ribbon cable and all the you know the pads for the buttons and whatnot and so what I've always wondered is why Sony did this at the last minute and I'm starting to think now that I've revisited this that maybe they had a PCB error and instead of having to reprint all the controllers that they were already in production probably being sent over from China already and getting ready for le release they just went ahead and scrapped the whole idea and never went back to it. So I've actually revisited this because I've been buying a lot of DualShock controllers lately and just refurbishing them for my own collection. They have a, they have a habit of getting dirty where this ribbon connector pad stops making contact with the PCB board and it causes it to just press all kinds of random buttons whenever you're trying to play games. The original 6-axis ones don't really have that issue because they actually have a plug type connector instead of just resting on the PCB board with a little piece of foam that makes helps it make contact. And so I actually picked this one up for cheap because I wanted to go ahead and refurbish it. The guy said it wasn't working but I've had no issues. I've just been cleaning them up and they get really dirty around the outside from people playing on them all the time and just never cleaning their hands or actually you know, cleaning their controllers. And so I actually had forgotten about this until I opened this one up and came across it. And so just a really weird piece of PlayStation history and something that I've always wondered why Sony just ditched this at the last minute. And so if anybody else has any ideas of why they might have done this or actually any good evidence of why they did this, I would really like to hear what you guys have to think and what you guys have to say about that.
Now I plan to be doing some more videos like this. I might even post a video of doing the actual mod to get this LED number 5 to work on the 6-axis controllers. And maybe do a couple other mods with the 6-axis controllers because uh, they're really cool, especially with the smoke controllers. Putting some LEDs in them make them look really sweet. And I might also do a couple videos on how to refurbish these DualShock controllers and how to bring them back to life because there's a ton of life in these controllers even though sometimes the buttons stop working correctly but that's pretty much all for today's video please like comment and subscribe